Welcome to video number seven, and we're going to talk about media mapping. And the reason why this is called media mapping is simply because we are going to further put ourselves in the person's shoes by utilizing media sites such as youtube.com and or other sites as well. And this is going to allow us to map out a better view of what our perfect buyer is into, what their perspective is, uh, basically map out their passion about their niche and what they like, what they dislike, uh, what kind of person looks like them, uh, what do they watch as far as documentaries go, uh, what do they watch, what do they, what do they like to learn, and everything basically surrounding that particular niche. So if you looked at my previous video and we did a Google of a day in the life of a gardener, we saw a couple of videos that were related. So in this case, I would highly recommend that you watch these so you have a better view of what their day looks like. Now, in addition to that, and what expands on that is what do they like? So once you watch this, you have a better perspective of their typical day, right? And we can type in Google and YouTube garden. So we can have gardener or even gardening TV shows and see what we get. And what I would do normally is I would sort it by view count and rating. So we can see view count here and we can see that the ones on the top are obviously higher, highly viewed. So we have 42,000 views, 67,000 views, 143,000 views. Let's see, Garden Girl TV, 298,000. So this is, if we click on this, just to take a look. So it looks like pretty much fits that demographic of female, uh, maybe middle-aged female. And if we go through here, uh, what I like to go through is I, I like to watch these videos that they watch. And then I like to take a look at the comments that match that particular video to see and get an idea of what people are saying about that particular video. And if I can see patterns or similarities in what people are saying, if somebody is saying over and over again that their frustration is this, or they are passionate about the consistent thing over and over again, then that tells me that there's something there. All right. So that's the whole goal of this. So we can type in gardening TV shows. We can type in garden documentary and obviously look at the video to make sure that it is related to what we are selling. So gardener, maybe gardening, so try different variations. And typically with this part, I would spend about 30 minutes and sometimes I'll spend an hour just going through videos. And eventually after you watch all these videos, you'll just start to see the pains that gardeners go through, what gets them excited, what gets them angry, what gets them mad. And eventually you'll know so much about your niche just by watching these videos. Now with media, there, there's different types of media. So you can use other social networking sites such as Instagram to get a better view of the pictures out there. Look at Pinterest to see what people are doing in, in terms of gardening goes. So you can look at other social networking sites other different types of media, pictures, videos, text, even podcast. If you can find a podcast, uh, just to get an idea of what your niche, your perfect buyer likes, dislikes and everything like that. So as you're doing this, you can keep a journal and uh, documentation of the likes, the dislikes, everything that you can think of that would allow you to map out what is going on in your perfect buyer's mind. So that's really what we're trying to do is ma essentially map out what is going on in their brain. So the better that you understand that, the better you're going to know when you start to sell your products and services, you'll already be 
leaps and bounds ahead of most of your competitors at this point because most of your competitors are not even thinking about doing any of this. So I hope you'd enjoyed this video. In the next video, we are going to talk about buying habits. And what this will reveal to you is what they're willing to buy, uh, what they're willing to spend even more money for so that you have a better picture of what products and services that you could essentially offer to them. All right, we'll see you there.